that's cool, you know. I think the girls like that, you know. Yeah, and that, how's that picked? I mean, who picks the most electric player for the other team? You pick it for the other team? Who picks it? Well, what, me generally, I tell my girls to pick it, who, who, who deserves it. Yeah, and, uh, they know. You know. Most of the time, they're on the same page. Sometimes they bicker back and forth. I just say, you know, pick the it. side. Come on, it's another so, game. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a standout. A girl could have hit a home run. Right. A, a pitcher pitches a no-hitter. Yep. I mean, Lots of reasons. A lot of times, the pitchers get them. But it's a, yeah. it's a way... For the players to acknowledge the other players on the other team, and I think it's a great thing. And, and the girls' softball has been doing it for ten years. Or, uh, yeah, I guess that we, yeah, we got to be pretty close to this ten our, years. This is our eleventh. Eleventh. Well, there tournament. you go. Yeah. So that's a pretty good thing. We can come back on this, Rick, if you want to hit a break or. Sure. We 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 will be back. Fair territory. <laughs> Tom's River Girls Softball, the premier girls softball league in Ocean County, has open registration this month. Teams are now being formed for the regular season. Divisions range from girls 6 and under t-ball to girls 18 and under high school. Don't miss out on the fun of being part of the most exciting softball league in the state, Tom's River Girls Softball. To register online, go to tomsrivergirlsoftball.org. That's tomsrivergirlsoftball.org. Join the number one girls softball league at the Jersey Shore. For more information, go to www.tomsrivergirlsoftball.org and be part of the excitement now. Tom's River Girls Softball. Tom's River Girls Softball. Tom's River Girls Softball. Tom's River Girls Softball. Hey, Rick, you get the sign. We're back. Fair territory. Thanks for listening. Uh, hey, we're going to cover a couple of quick things and, and open up the phone lines. The first thing, uh, uh, Rob, when is the, the Tom's River Girls Softball League tournament? What yeah, date? June 26th and 27th. It's a two-day tournament, like uh, Saturday and Sunday. Like I said, we'll, you know, you play your seeding games on Saturday, and uh, Sunday you want to, you know, could be one and done, or you know, you play till you lose. You play till you lose. And to finish that conversation before we left, <clears throat> I I can say that in the 10 years that we've done it. And guys have taken off and worked on Thursday and Friday. Uh, it rains. And then they work over Friday night, so at 3 o'clock in the morning, there are car lights on the fields as people are digging holes and draining water off the fields. But um, knock on wood, when I tell you we've had serious rain, and we have a reputation for having a phenomenal tournament. We only had to cancel one tournament in, a, in 10 years. So that's a pretty good record. But that, that's a dedication uh, that's that that goes to all the guys that have been out there three o'clock in the morning and working their butt off. So, pumping water, pumping water, and uh, gosh, the guy that, that that makes the field dry has got to love us too. We get that by the pallet. Yep. So uh, another thing to just run back a little bit on the uh, the ASA softball team, and I'm going to just close it up with a recreational thing. The the uh, the, the number of teams and, and, uh, and Rob coaches a travel team, an ASA travel team. How many tournaments, not counting Tom's Rivers tournament, do you go play? Uh, up with, with the younger girls, we'll, we'll, with a ten and under, uh, we're probably gonna play in like seven tournaments, and with the sixteen and under, we'll we'll probably play at least ten of them. And, you know, we usually go try to take a couple of weeks off in the summertime towards the end of, of August, let them have a little fun, and then we try to roll into a little bit of fall ball. ball. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell everybody out there, and hopefully I, I, I know like from some of the responses we've gotten in the past that there are a lot of parents watching, moms and dads, and a lot of obviously young 10 and unders. Uh, I encourage you to go to the Tom's River Girls softball webpage. You'll see the date of the tournament. There's a whole separate thing that says tournaments. And bring the younger, bring the younger kids to the, to the games. And it, nothing for nothing, you're, you're going to see a skill level that you didn't think existed in girls' sports. At, uh, in the softball world. You Especially thought, at the age. At, at the age that you're going to see it. It's absolutely right. amazing. So take the opportunity to do it. And just to go and, and go back with the girls' softball league, there's, there's just two more things that I think are really great. It's a summer league, so you start right after school you know, gets out. You play through the summer, and maybe uh, the weekend or so into August, and you end it with the mayor's... Uh... Oh, we have our big uh, picnic every year, which is great. Well, well, uh, I, I want you to that's, talk about that. That's, that's uh, like a... Actually, this year, I believe it's scheduled for August 15th. 
but it's always at the end of the year. Um, I believe last year we had our uh, our championship games played the day of the picnic, so that was that was fun. So there was a lot of people there at the picnic. They got to watch the games, and it worked out real well. And uh, last year was great. It, it was I think it rained at the end, I believe. And and here and but, here I get to do my annual plug because I'm part of part of the the YMCA, the YMCA. family. Is that the the picnic is always held at the YMCA, and you get to play the games there. And there's there's all free food and free food they also the the ymca is nice enough to open up the pools Whoa, the for, pool. the, uh, <laughs> for the girls and a lot of the kids do take advantage of that um last year we had a dunk tank <laughs> and uh, some coaches uh were going in there so the kids love that absolutely it's a good time you know it's a it's a real nice you know picnic it's it's a good I, time i love it because i can tell you that in years past that a, a truck would come if we bought the food from um shop right they used to come with this huge box truck right and it took 10 guys to unload all the food and then somebody would still be making ice runs and and hot dog runs because the food is free and of course it's for the families it's for the players and the families of the players um but more than just the picnic we also give out the trophies that day and that's what the kids want yeah, that's true. That's it, what the kids It's want. a hard work all year long. The younger kids want them trophies. And they get them no matter what, win, lose, or draw, that's right? That's correct. That's, that's a that's good thing correct. right there. So, um, so, so, so that's like the, the, the big thing with the, with the, with the softball league. And, uh, and no questions yet? Uh, no. Okay, I that's good. Uh, let's see. There was a couple. You know what? I told Rob I will probably... Um, ah. I didn't tell Rick about this, but I I, I told uh, Rob that I would like him to um, give us a coach's tip or a player's tip. So I, I said, Rob, if there's like what to you is like something that's very important to teach the kids playing playing the game, and and you said bunting. Oh, why? I love small ball. <laughs> but that that means a whole lot of stuff. But you start with teaching the kids how well, to bunt. Yeah, obviously, you know, the girls have to learn the way to, you know, how to bunt, where to direct the ball, when to do it. You know, if you get the girls playing deep at third base, you lay it down at third base and at first. Right. I love doing it. My girls call a bunt. They always could. It's, is it almost standard operating procedure? Like, I think that, um, and I don't mind uh, dropping names and, and giving credit where it's due, but if you look at the programs in Tom's River and all of the Tom's River schools throughout the years have enjoyed a tremendous amount of success and without slighting any of them I only pick one because my kids all went to high school East but one of the things that they've perfected is small ball and coach Debbie Schwartz there with um, with coach Michelle Nevelin. Neveling and um, uh, coach Dizak the the thing that they they play better than anyone is small ball they will absolutely bury the other team. It almost goes without saying, you get a runner on first base. However, <clears throat> sooner or later, we're getting her to second. Absolutely. And if you're not paying attention, absolutely, she's going to third. And what they also teach, you know, a lot of kids do nowadays is besides slapping, which a, lo- which a lot of girls do. You know, a little different get, than bunny. Batting lefty, they, they get the edge down to first base, and the girls master it. <clears throat> if you're fast... You know, high school, he's got a few of them. They can just drop that ball down, and they, 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 you can't get them. Well, they practice it, for sure. You, you, and you can't get it's, them. It's part of their game. It's, 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 it's that's the way to do fabric. it. That's, right. that's the way to do it. It just doesn't matter how far you hit it as long as you get on base. Right. <laughs> and understand that you're picking up a couple of steps when you're batting from the left-hand side, whether you're bunting or slapping. And they absolutely teach girls how to to slap to the left-hand side of the field and, and then you know tear down to first base. So, uh, and, and, and the interesting thing is when you teach them to bunt, you are also then teaching them all of the other skills that go with it offensively in the, in the base running skill part of it. Right. Their feet, their, their speed, their, their getting out, and that they're on first base, and a player now, a new player is going to bat, and they have to uh, bunt properly, and that the first base runner has to be paying attention to what's going on. It's it's very popular, you know, in fast pitch softball. Yeah. I, I mean, if you have a team and you want to be competitive, if you can't bunt, you're in trouble. Yeah, you know, you're in trouble. Well, I mean, you got to be able to move the kids around. 